Dennis Sangini routinely drives hundreds of kilometers from his home in Mizuzu, Malawi. We are trying to address the problem of the spread of HIV AIDS, especially from the mother to uh, a child. He traverses these lonesome roads to reach rural villages, where patients historically have fewer resources and information regarding the disease. Malawi has one of the highest rates of HIV in the world, and women are disproportionately affected. Testing those of childbearing age is crucial in preventing transmission from mother to child. Your HIV negative. <laughs> if a patient is diagnosed with a disease, stigma and misinformation are common barriers to successful treatment, pushing patients into the shadows of society. But the United Methodist Church, through its partner, World Hope Corps, is fostering relationships that are changing that. Health counselors like Yapi Nairongo and Monica Lungi are specially trained to deliver encouragement and information to patients in their own homes. But if we go there in the village and uplift their lives, their hope again, then there we are, we have an impact on their life. I want my patients to know when they have the virus, it is not the end of their life. They should take care of themselves because they have a lot more years to live. Kathleen has HIV, but her baby is healthy. Today, she is feeling optimistic, but explains that initially the news was devastating. I thought the best thing I could do is commit suicide. But then I thought of my children, and maybe for the sake of the children, I should not take my life. Talking openly about the disease with counselors has made her more comfortable sharing her diagnosis and supporting other HIV-positive women. Close by, Glory chooses not to share her HIV-positive status with neighbors. But she receives a strong support from her husband, Kaylin, and makes sure she pays attention to her health. By taking medication during her pregnancies, her two children are HIV-free, and that is the desired outcome. The road to eliminating HIV-AIDS is a long one, but through the support of the United Methodist Church and its partners, the journey isn't happening alone. If God can give us grace, the next generation should be HIV free. Then we have done something.